So, how's your game? Uh, it's starting to return. Okay, so, cool. Um, I just, I, I, don't, I don't know how much, I can't remember. Uh, I just recently retired a couple of years ago. Nice. Which is nice. And uh, trying to get at least back to where I was like 20 years ago, although without the actual drop in age. Okay. I'm not going to be as bendy as I was 30 or 30 years ago. Yep. But, uh, um, so it's, it's coming, it's not there yet. Okay. Um, it's got a ways to go, but I think at the beginning of this year and last year, I was just snap hooking like crazy. All right. Snap or pull plug. What do you normally shoot? What's your score? Um, lately I've been mid to upper 80s. Okay. With a whole whack of penalty strokes. Oh boy. Like right. off the tee penalty strokes or even into yeah, the like greens? I, I played yesterday, birdie blind. And I've had penalty stroke off the tee on two, three, four, five, six. Oh, geez. Okay. Yeah. That uh, those are score killers. Yeah. Um, okay. So where do you I normally? Ended, I ended up with ninety with like seven or eight penalties. Oh and man. That's, okay. That's where do you normally play? Where I am right now. Where do you normally play? Where's your what um, course? I'm all over. Yesterday was National Pines. Okay. Um, cool. Up near Barry. I've been out here a few times. And okay. Caledon Woods, Georgetown, Hidden Lake. I'm okay. So you played a lot. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, and when it comes to the driver, when you lose these shots, where does the ball going? Um, Lately, the snap hook is gone. I don't. Okay. I pretty much. It's not, I shouldn't say it's completely gone. It's ninety-nine percent gone. Okay. Cool. Um, so it's it's usually a bit more. It's. I would say it's probably two different things. It can be a block. Yep. In my alignment, like all my life, that's been one problem. Like where I think I'm pointing, Versus and where right. I'm actually pointing. Okay. It's. Uh, I think it's genetic. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So I will um, actually hit. Like I mean, yesterday I hit of the five penalties I had in a row. I would say three of them I thought I hit the ball exactly where I wanted to, and then yeah. I went up, and I'm just like basically just on the line of crap. Okay. And rough. And it was like one tumble too many, and yeah. not to be found again. Okay. So let's take a target line. Choose a tree up there. Okay. Whatever tree sticks out the most, and let's go with that tree. Okay. Which one is it? Just so I know. Yeah, perfect. Yep. That's an uncommon one, isn't it? What's that? That's an uncommon shot. Oh, I can hit it where I want sometimes, but it just... That was a little low and kind of oh, went oh, yeah. left to right. Oh, yeah. The ball flight, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's not my normal ball flight. The line wasn't bad for me, but yeah. I mean, I mean if you've got the odd hook and the odd block, then the fade shouldn't be anywhere near your repertoire, so... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> White coat syndrome. I'm watching. That's your normal, huh? That's what I would, I would go. Right. 
So show me the backswing, take it out, keep your hat on the ball all the way up to the top the way we talked about it. Thigh rotation. <laughs> good, really good. So it might feel like your, your front knee bends out, right? The front knee bends like out toward the golf yeah. ball a little bit. Your right knee straightens a lot more, right? And it's almost like you're trying to do all of this stuff by changing your knee bends. Okay. The byproduct of trying to get the body to turn the most and keep the arm and wrist longer yeah. is that we create a longer line or a longer radius of our swing, okay. more power, more speed. Yeah. It's going to be a byproduct today. Okay. But all I'm trying to do is keep the slack out right. to keep the club face stable. And if we get a bonus distance bump, cool. Good. Okay, one more practice swing for me. Take it back about halfway and then stop. We'll have a little checkpoint. Okay, so you want to try and feel you're pushing this as close to the umbrella as possible, right? Yeah. Keeping it wide. Now, more turn. Keep going. More turn. Yeah, you're almost trying to point the, from here all the way, like, you know, to the back of your legs toward the target. Right? It's a full back and ass turn to the target. There you go. And just feed the club as close to my hands back here as you can widest arc. There you go. Good. That's our move. Good. And if it feels like it narrows up in order to create power and swing it, terrific. I like it. Now, a couple other things I want to mention in your yeah. setup. You've got your stance a little bit open and your ball a little bit back. Okay. That's a awesome combination okay so you know if someone says hey you're aimed a little bit left that's the way the ball went there not the case yeah. okay never the case okay. it's where the club face is pointed is where the ball goes right. um, but when you have an open stance like that the ball being back in the stance actually plays it in a better spot okay. so just same thing as like if i had a, a bit of a closed stance now the matchup to that is that the ball goes a little forward right. okay. i wouldn't change that setup at all Right? It's, I'm trying to put the, the least amount of changes into yeah. your move. Yeah. Wide with the club head, early maxed out, maxed out turn. So that's the first piece. This backswing stuff is the first piece. The next piece is going to feel as though that, you know, once you get to a point where this can't stay long anymore right. and it has to start to bend, that's when you start getting this way with okay. your swing. So it's going to be taking that knee turn and doing the opposite move with it. So if I could somehow glue a stick across your knees, it would be like pointed at first base and then get it over to third base. Point it out at first base and then crank it over to third base. Okay. All in the knees and the thighs. And this is where you're gonna have to use your feet to make that happen. So here's the building the swing from the ground up approach. More turn. So take it back to our checkpoint. Okay, so more turn in the backswing also means that you're gonna feel like you get taller. Okay. Turn to tall. Yeah, there you go. Feels 
about ten times like that movie. Yeah. Makes everything feel about ten times as fast. Good. Perfect. Which is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we want. Make sure. That's exactly what we want. Good. So wide with the club head, full turn of the body, right? That's our checkpoint number one. And then once you feel like this starts to lift up, that's when I want you to feel like you're already starting to change okay. directions to the left. These will happen. Oh yeah. It's little growing pains. So just an idea through this, yeah. like the, the trigger off the golf ball, like what makes everything start to move. If I want to try and create the widest arc of that club head, I have to feel like this is what's turning the arms and club away from the ball, not this. Okay. Right? So if I if I take it back with my hands, my core freezes and, and stabilizes. Yeah, what makes the arms and hands move is the fact that I've already started my stick to third base. Yes. Okay. And I want this one to feel like it takes one more second to make. Okay. Like from takeaway to impact, add one second to the whole process. Okay. Good. Big early turn. There you go. That ball took off the face a little hotter. Yeah. Yep. I like it. So I would say that, like, let's practice this for the rest of those balls with the driver. Yeah. And then get a seven iron and tee them up super low to do the same thing to start. Okay. okay? And then I'll come back and take a look okay. how it goes. Sounds good. Nice thump into the ground. <laughs> we can hit him right off the ground, so okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's good enough. Okay, this ball's too far back. Move it up a little more in your stance. So at least the front half. Okay. Good. So the keys to this are going to be the same thing in the backswing, trying to feel like it's a big swivel, that the arms don't really do anything because they keep the club head wide and long. But then I want it to feel like through the shot that you're getting taller. Okay. okay so straightening this left leg longer, trying to get the left shoulder way up in the okay. sky. All those tall things are going to help increase the height, take away some curve. Okay. And that's what gets the club out of the divot. So your left knee will really straighten more aggressively. It'll be a push up. 
So we hear on TV when we see the, you know, the camera guys videotape a swing and they're like, look how he fired his hips through impact. It's not the, it's not the hips that fire. It's the knee straightening throws this left hip back and it makes it look like the, the hips turned. There's some fun height there. Yeah, so, and I think that you've got you've got a lot of speed, but when that speed comes into the ground and launches it low, it just falls out of the sky almost, right? right? So even those shots that go into the green that look pretty good, they're going to skip back a little too far. Yeah, I'm off the back. Perfect. Swing, I mean, that's probably yeah, it's it's far too often that I'll hit on the green and then I'm chipping back. From okay. So this is a great move yeah. that we can work on. We can get the knee swivel out to first base, knee swivel in the wide arc of that club head, and then feeling as though that from there, the goal is to get up yeah. and get everything working upward, and that's going to launch that club into the ball, but it's also going to release the club. Right. So there's the whole yeah. club passing the handle stuff we talked about. Okay. So let's just go with the takeaway stuff and add in these left knee straightening moon balls. And I'm hoping the ball goes like a couple yards farther, but it goes higher too. So, you know, it'll, you can perform better with that. That was nice. If the jump doesn't happen before the hit, it will be a fat shot because you'd be too close to the ground with that knee bend, if we think of it that way. Yeah. Okay.